Okay, this video forms an assessment one for the theory of learning uh, as well as teaching. Now, overview of the learning structure. In the learning theory, there are quite a number. I will only be concentrating on one aspect of it, which is constructivism. Now, what is actually constructivism? Now, basically, what constructivism theory says that is that it is the learner who constructs the learning or who constructs the knowledge instead of the traditional sense which is the knowledge being imparted to the learner. Now, in social, we will be concentrating more on social constructivism instead of psychological constructivism by Piaget. Now, this uh, social constructivism by uh, a lot of work done by Vygotsky, he, he mentioned that this um, learning is actually due to the uh, surrounding or due to the social aspect of it. Now, in terms of development, uh, Piaget says that development precedes learning, but Vygotsky says that it is the learning that precedes development. It is because we learn, therefore we develop. Now, uh, Vygotsky's uh, learning theory suggests this thing called uh, zone of uh, proximal development. Now, what that means is that this, is, this area is what the learner can do uh, by himself. Yeah? And there is an area where the learner cannot do, which is actually their potential development. Now, the gap between what the learner can do and their potential development is called the zone of proximal development. Now, it is in this zone that a lot of learning takes place, that the actual learning takes place. Now, how does it actually take place? How does this learning actually take place in relation uh, to the uh, other interaction with the uh, social? Now, in this uh, learning theory, it is the more knowledgeable other which actually provides uh, the learning, or rather, which actually uh, assists in the learning. Now, what are these? Who are these more knowledgeable uh, other? It is actually the teacher or the caregiver, the parents, peers, and nowadays it is the internet or the computers. Now, this thing is done through scaffolding. Now, how does it work? To make it, uh, to give an example. Like let's say for example, a parent and a child. Now the child has got this toy, which actually has got a couple, a uh, few shapes, and the child has to put the shapes into a certain container where it only allows the shape, the correct shape, to go into the container. For example, rectangle goes into a rectangular uh, shape. And a triangle goes into the triangle, circle goes into the triangle. Now, given the first try, the child will not be able to know what to do. The child will not will not be able to know what uh, where to put all these uh, manipulatives, right? But once the parents show the child that okay, the rectangle goes into the rectangle uh, part. The square goes into the square part. In this manner, all these manipulatives will get can go into the container. Now, we take all the shapes out and put it back and give it to the child. Now, this time around, the child is able to put in all the shapes. This is, uh, in a way, what scaffolding is all about. It is to assist, uh, to assist the learner, right? To actually construct his own learning. Now, what are the strengths of this learning theory? Now, I recently mentioned uh, this phrase, which has, has been widely used. Stage, uh, should we be stage on a stage or a guy on the side? Now, when we look at this theory, the learning theory says that we should actually be, as teachers, we should be guy on the side. But my personal belief is that. We must know when to choose it. The correct answer should be the thing, uh, the purpose, the art of teaching is to figuring out when you should be which one, right? Okay. 
Now, the next strength is that because this learning structure uh, takes in, into consideration uh, the, of the social aspect of it, right? This promotes the four C's. What are the four C's? Collaboration, creative thinking, critical thinking, as well as uh, cooperation. I think that part of the together. One of the strength of this learning theory is that it promotes four C's, which is communication, collaboration, creativity, as well as creative thinking. Now, the next part is that this learning theory it, it, uh, it stimulates the students to explore, experiment and conduct research on its own about a topic that he's interested in. Now, we have seen nowadays that students, they are learning a lot from the internet as well as from their peers and the, a lot of learning is done on their own. Now, the other so strength is that it prepares the student for facing issues in the real world by teaching him to deal with complex issues. Okay? Right. What are the limitations uh, for this learning theory? Now, because of the amount of preparation involved, it is time consuming for the teachers. In terms of the curriculum, as well as in terms of the uh, assessment, a lot of time should be uh, uh, spent on preparing uh, the curriculum for this type of learning theory. Next, for the student, it also takes a longer time for them to get on board with this learning theory. Simply because they will have to figure out or they will have to construct their own learning. Now, in terms of another limitation is that the assessment is varied. There is no standard way of assessing. Uh, in, the pre in our traditional test, everybody sits for the same test. But for peace learning theory, not everybody, uh, the test cannot be for everybody. The test needs to be, or the assessment needs to be varied from one indi individual to another. The other limitation is that it is not, uh, it may not be suitable for all subjects. Now, in conclusion, my personal belief is that we should, as teachers, we should concentrate more and more on this uh, constructivism because it has been shown that constructivism-based teaching methods are gaining more attention and being practiced more. Right? Now, the extra work, extra work that's needed to do this will be worth the effort. Now, this is also in line with how students of our digital age are getting themselves learning about the things that they want to learn. Thank you.